In this video, we're going to learn about primary amines, secondary amines, and tertiary amines. And it's not too bad. For the primary amine, we have one carbon directly attached to that nitrogen. So here's our nitrogen. We have a lone pair. That's why things are pushed down. And this R, that's the carbon, or it could be a group of carbons. But the key is there's only one of them attached to that nitrogen. For the secondary amine, Again, the lone pair pushing things down, but now we have one carbon or a group of carbons attached here, and then we have another carbon or a group of carbons attached. And we only have one hydrogen atom here by itself. That's a secondary amine. And then the tertiary, we have one, two, three different carbons or carbon groups attached to the nitrogen. So let's practice some. Pause and identify whether this is a primary, secondary, or tertiary amine. So here's our central nitrogen with the lone pair. We have one carbon group, two carbon groups, three carbon groups. That's going to be tertiary. Do another one. Pause and identify this amine. So you can see here we have that one carbon group and then hydrogens. Right there's that carbon group. That's a primary amine. And you can even look at it this way. Here's our nitrogen. Here's that carbon group we're talking about right here. Then we have these two hydrogens, and you can get a sense for the molecular geometry here, which is trigonal pyramidal. Let's try another one. So let's focus on this nitrogen right here. Pause and give it a try. So we have a carbon here, a carbon group here, and these are carbons here. So we have all these carbons here kind of ignore this. Since we have these carbons attached, three of them, this is a tertiary amine. Pause, try this one. So we have two hydrogens attached here. There's two here, and then we have, these are carbons here, and there would be hydrogens. Each carbon would be bonded to four things. This is the rest of the molecule here. This is a primary amine. And it looks kind of like this. So you can see the two hydrogens, our lone pair, and then the carbon, the rest of the molecule. How about this one? And remember, these right here, all of these are carbons. So we have a hydrogen and then two groups of carbons. That's got to be a secondary amine. And it would look like this. There's the hydrogen by itself, and these are the carbon groups there on the side. One last one. What type of amine is this? Two carbon groups, our hydrogen here, that's going to be a secondary amine. And remember, this lone pair here is pushing things down. We get that trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry for these amines. That's it. It's Dr. B looking at the differences between the primary amine, secondary amine, and tertiary amine. Thanks for watching.